And you're sure this is the most recent picture you have of her? Y yes, I, I think so, yes. Now, Mrs. Hayes... Oh, Diane, please. Um, Diane is fine. Diane, listen. She's only been gone a couple of days. Kids do this sometimes. It happens. Uh, what's important is that you keep calm. Can you do that, Diane? Of course, I'll... I'll try. Now, I'm here because Officer Jackson, down at the station, found this. Oh my god. On the side of the interstate, northbound. That's hers. That's that's Ellen's phone. Now, this doesn't mean now, Interstate? That... Why why would what what would she be doing heading north up the interstate? Why would well, she Well, we we can't say for sure, but more than likely she dropped it while traveling northbound along the freeway on foot, probably hitchhiking. Oh. Now, as you can see, it's in pretty rough shape. It looks like the port's busted, so without a way to charge up the battery, we may not have much time to find any clues that may still be on the device. Okay, it's... it's just... I, I, I've never gone through her private things before. It, it, it doesn't feel right. Well, that's really no problem, ma'am. In cases like this, it's fairly typical to get a search warrant in order to gain access to evidence contained on any... No, uh, um, that, that's okay. I can... I can do it. Fair enough. Thank you for your cooperation, Mrs. Hayes. Now, we're looking for any clue as to where she might have headed and with whom. Emails, texts, even photos can be very telling when it comes to locating a missing teen. Now, I'm due back at the station. I'll leave this with you, and I'll be back in an hour. Two hours tops. Detective Jones, uh, how do I... What are the odds that we're going to find her? We're doing everything we can, ma'am. Just let us know what you find.
Pick up your phone! Hey! Happy birthday, Ellie Bug. I can't believe it. 16 already. Well, well, I bet you're out having fun with your friends, so I hope you have a good one. Or I'll, I'll see you this weekend, okay, Bug? Love you. Hey! Your food's getting cold, but it's your birthday! Hey, you're in the bathroom right now, which is probably why you didn't pick up. Your food! You need to eat your birthday Shut! Food. Shut up! Elliot, shut! Shut up! Why are you but she's been gone two seconds. Because I love her. Oh, but hey, listen, listen. Goodness. I know you haven't been having Whoa. a ton. Shut up! I know you haven't been having a ton of fun with your folks lately and all. But hey, it's going to be awesome. Birthday. Oh, I see you. Hey, hey, I love you. Birthday. I love you. Bye. Ellen Elizabeth Hayes, I just got a call from your school. You missed your first class? You have to be responsible for yourself to get up in the morning. Just because it was your birthday yesterday is no excuse to miss. Call me immediately after you get this. Hey, got your message. It's gonna be okay. Your mom's just mad. It's what moms do, okay? It'll be fine. Plus, you totally got to skip Nelson's pop quiz, so hey. That's neat. I'll see you in third and we can talk about it. I love you. Hey Elle, please don't forget that I'm picking you up after school so we can go finalize everything with the lawyer. You're gonna go to your father's for the weekend so I'm just putting together some stuff for you. Um, let me know if you need anything specific but don't text during class. <sighs> we'll get through all this, okay, bug? I love you, bye. Al, pick up your phone. Pick up your phone, please. I love you. Hey, Elbug, I am really looking forward to seeing you today. I was thinking maybe we could go out to a, a salad for dinner. How's that sound? Hey, um, hey, listen, after we're done with dinner, uh, slight change of plans, we're going to have to... I'm gonna have to take you back to your mom's. I, I got an early morning the next morning, so, so, so yeah. I will, I will talk to you later today. Bye bye. L L L L Ellen. Hey, I totally forgot about Nelson's stupid um, paper thingy for tomorrow. You got it done, right? Uh, I still need like most of the answers. It's so dumb. Help me out. Help me out, Al. Okay. All right. Call me. Hi. You're sitting right next to me, but I just wanted to tell you that I love you. Okay. Bye. What are you doing? Hey. I'm waiting outside to pick you up. Don't see you yet. Oh, Elliot. Elliot. Hey, Elliot. Uh, yes, okay. Hi. Is Elle on her way out? Um, I haven't seen her since the argument. So oh. I think she's coming. Okay, um, thank you. If you see her, can you tell her to call me, please? Yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, that was Elliot. He said something about an argument. Um, call me, please. Ellen, it's been a long day, and I'm tired. You know I don't care if you spend the afternoon over at Z's house as long as you check in about it first. So, unless I hear otherwise, I'm expecting you home for dinner, young lady. Um... Ellen, where are you? I called Z's mom. She said you had a fight. She doesn't know where you are. I don't know where you are. Call me immediately. Ellen, it's mom. Call me. Ellen, I've been up all night. Where are you? I found your note running away. Ellen, that's childish. You need to call me. This is not funny. Call me and get home now. Ellen, I am worried sick here. I can't wait anymore. I called your father. He thinks we should call the police. Ellen, you need to call me. Ellen Hayes, this is Detective Jones calling from the Metro PD. Uh, we've gotten a report from a Diane Hayes, your mother, 
uh, that you've been out of contact for several hours after leaving a note. We need you to call and confirm your location immediately or we'll be moving on to the next courses of action. My number is 555-831-2525 at extension 143. And again, this is Detective Jones. L, this is your mother. We are really worried about you here. No, it's not her, it's her voicemail. Please. Ellen, please come home.
Hey, Elbug. Um, I didn't want to tell you this way, but I don't want you getting home and not knowing where your, uh, your, your dad and I, I, I know, I know you know it's been a little rough, more than a little, um, between us lately. Um, we're gonna spend some time apart, baby. Um, I don't know if it's permanent yet. I don't know if we, we, we just don't know. But, um, but we love you, both of us. That's really important for both of us that you know that. Okay, well, um, I'll see you after school, Elle. Bye. Hey, I know you're asleep by now, and it's technically not really your birthday anymore. But happy birthday, Elle. I know we both say it a lot, but I love you. No jokes, no gushy, gross stuff. I just love you. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at school. Bye. Hi, Ellibug. Figure you didn't pick up because you're mad at me and... I get it, babe. Hey, your mother isn't trying to ruin your life. I... I promise. She's just being your mom like she's supposed to. She loves you. She just... She just goes about loving a little differently. But she loves you so much. I know that. I, I do too. I... Listen, this has all been so hard on you. I, w I know. I, I wish I could make it easier. I just... Just call me when you can, okay? I love you, Elbug. Ellie! Ellie, I'm sorry! I don't know what I did, but I can fix. I just want to make this better. I know we can. Please, please just call me. I want to talk this through more. I'm so sorry for yelling. I didn't mean and everyone was watching. God, please, Ellie. I need to talk to you. I love you, okay? I love you. Hey, El. Uh, rough, rough day, huh? <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry uh, that it all went down like that, but um, Z's really upset, and uh, I, I don't know what happened, really, but can you give me a call or message me, okay? I really like you two together. Uh, and El, I... Okay, I, I saw you writing that note to your mom on your phone about how you were thinking of going away. And I get it if you need some space, but at least put down where you're going or something, okay? We kind of like you around here, my dude. Like, I know your folks will be worried sick if they can't get a hold of you, so just um, uh, think about it.
Hey, Al. Uh, rough, rough day, huh? <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry uh, that it all went down like that, but um, Z's really upset, and uh, I, I don't know what happened, really, but can you give me a call or message me, okay? Hello, and welcome to Knits of the Round Table, where your friendly neighborhood nitwits share a slice or two while talking about the good stuff. This week, when's a good time to say adios? From home, from a bad relationship, from a friend, from a book, whatever. Table, pass the pepper flakes, and let's get talking. Now on this week's episode, we're happy to welcome David Wishing to the studio. David? Hi, Samantha, it's really, really good to be here. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. No, I actually kind of just want to get right into it, if we could, if you wouldn't mind. It would be really great if we could get into it right now. Uh, no, please. Here's my stance, and then I want you to fight me on this. I want you to 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 fight me on this on this subject. Okay, are you ready? Okay. I know this is your show, but I thought that it would be more interesting if I came in and, and did something. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm excited. Let's, Wonderful. Let's do. Here's what I think. If it's not going well, and you know when it's not going well, you know, one knows. When you're in a situation where things are not working, Mm -hmm. you can feel it in your bones, in your gut. I think my opinion, where I'm coming from, what I want you to fight me on, this idea of when you know know that it's time to go, you get out of there. You just leave, girl. Just go. Do you know what I mean? Okay, fight me. Well, that's very interesting. Um, I really appreciate that perspective. Um, I really, there's a lot of truth in that. I hear where you're coming from. I just think maybe there are some... I hear where you're coming from as well, and I want to, first of all, validate. I want to validate what you just said, because I think it's really important what you just said. And I think that uh, if more people thought that, I think we'd be in a better place. And unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to disagree with you. Um, uh, When you feel, like you know what I've been saying, when you feel that it's time to go, you just go. It doesn't matter if it's uh, 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 more dangerous to leave. uh, uh, you know, the whole um, uh, uh, Laszlo's hierarchy of needs, you know what I mean? The, tr- the triangle, they, they don't even teach that anymore. I'm glad that you know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, those things are not important. When you listen to your whole being, uh, your gut, your heart, your brain, uh, uh, not the community, not society, do you know what I'm saying? Is this, do you understand? Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that, that is what you have to focus on. Okay, fight me again. Wow, wow. Um, well said, well said. Um, that's such an interesting perspective. I'm so grateful to have you here today. I'm grateful as well. I'm actually really grateful that we listen to each other, that we can have this discussion and 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 that it's not adversarial. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I feel like you're getting heard. I feel like I'm getting heard. And uh, I think really the moral of the story where we've both uh, kind of come to this conclusion that when it it's time to go, go. Just even if it's dangerous, even if it is uh, not what one person might think is good planning um, um, or logical, you just do this. And I'm glad that we both came to that conclusion together. Uh, uh, thank you very much for having me on today. 
Well, thank you so much for being here, and thank you for listening to Knits of the Round Table. Join us next week for another slice and another slice of conversation. All right, where's the pizza? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello and thank you, dear listener, for listening in on Rock Slash Hard Place, an exploration of life's most difficult times. I, as always, am your host, Dr. Leopold McGregor. Today, we take a deep dive into that murkiest of subjects, relationships, and the moment you feel that you are drowning in them. I believe it was that great theologian Robert Marley who first said, Truth is, everybody is going to hurt you. You just gotta find the ones worth suffering for. And I think we can all agree with those wise words. But what if the suffering is too great? When's the time to swim up, climb the ladder out, and towel off before heading inside? Well, over the next hour, we will discover exactly that with me, Dr. Leopold McGregor, as your poolside lifeguard and life coach. I want to take a moment to remind you about our wonderful sponsor this week, Green Pinafore. They are dedicated to providing the absolute freshest ingredients.
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Ellie. <laughs> 